Is it on? You're watching T.S. Madison TV. My God, today. <laughs> I got some shit I need to motherfucking say this morning. Mm. Can you move this shit from Bobby having nice food smelling like alcohol? Good morning. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon. We having brunch right now. The brain, so nasty brains, bitch. You know what I mean? Hey, y'all. Um, I feel some kind of motherfucking way this morning. Okay. And I feel some kind of way this motherfucking morning because mm -hmm. the last time we was here. Let me get it out. Let me just get my thoughts together. Last time we was here, I had Larry Reed on here. Okay. Now, the situation jumped all off into a whole new era, a new situation of shit, because Larry Reed came on here. I did not bring Larry Reed live on my motherfucking platform to talk about his molestation. I didn't bring him on it. I was not bringing him on here to interview him. That was not what the fuck I did. When Larry Reed came on here, I spoke to Larry Reed about how I felt about the situation when he was talking to, to, to Armand, when Armand was going through that situation with me. Me and Armand is not beefing, okay? When we, when we was going through that little situation or whatever was going on, or Armand was expressing his disdain and how he felt about me and how he felt about whatever it was or whatever, and Larry Reed jumped over there and, and, and was communicating with I brought Larry Reed on. We talked about that shit, and I moved the fuck on, okay? Larry Reed's situation, when he came on here, Larry Reed came on here to talk about what was going on with, with the, the governor and the pastor. I don't know how the fuck we got on about molestation and gay. We was talking about Milan was on. We was just talking like we just motherfucking do in the, in the, in the, in the situation. I brought him on. I didn't have an opportunity to publicly address him when I, and I said, when I had the opportunity to public, he publicly addressed some situation that transpired in my home when me, when he was when he went on somebody else's platform and I publicly addressed him in front of the motherfucking public. And if anybody out there that I want to a, a publicly a motherfucking dress Nothing. in front of the motherfucking public, I ain't scared a man, woman, a motherfucking child. I tell y'all puss ass hoes this shit all the motherfucking time, okay? So I didn't bring him on here to talk about his molestation situation, but it just happened. It just happened. And we was in the situation and everybody was talking and all it was just going to, we were just in a situation. Let me tell you motherfucking hoes something who always, this ain't got nothing. Jay Wilson, I ain't beefing with you. I, 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 I'm glad when you made your video, you, you express your disdain about the situation, about how everybody else around it took it. And I'm glad that you said to the people that I was trying to moderate the situation. Well, not moderate it, but I did because I did empathize. I sympathize and I understood a person telling their story. Timothy Blaine, I watched your video this morning and I'm glad I'm calling y'all hoes by name. Timothy Blaine, I watched your video this morning. I saw where you was coming from with. It. I'm glad that I'm, I'm glad that you were conveying to your audience that T.S. Madison was over there because I was over there listening to the situation. How Craig handled it, how Milan handled it, how Chi Chi handled it. That was in their space. Hold on, let me finish. I don't give a fuck right now. That was in the way they spake. But see, the, 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 the situation I got is when you other motherfuckers try to jump on them people's shit, anytime y'all see somebody saying something or or, or y'all feel like they, somebody finna uh, uh, say what T.S. Madison did wrong, you bitches be front line and sit in the, in the fucking center. You pull your motherfucking chairs up and y'all sit there in front line and center waiting on a motherfucker to be like, oh, well, you know, I don't like T.S. Madison because she messy. Bitch, I ain't messy. I told you motherfucking hoes. I don't throw them the rock and hide my hand. I talk to you bitches directly. All you motherfuckers, any motherfucker that I feel like I want to talk to directly because ain't now bitch going to whoop me. Yeah. Messy. Messy, y'all. Ain't now bitch going to whoop me on loud off motherfucking line, bitch. Now, 
I tell you hoes 24 7. Anytime you bitches got a problem with motherfucking TS Master, you hoes better keep that shit on the keyboard. Cause bitch, you walk up on me with that bullshit. You laughing to get your ass whooped. Pistol whoop, bitch, shot, stab, beat with a bat or mace. That's possibly the way it's gonna happen. So bitch, you hoes better keep that shit online. That's how that work. Okay. Now my thing was it, it that shit ain't had nothing to do with me. Hi, Chi Chi. Yes, how Chi Chi did, how Chi Chi responded, how Craig responded, or how Mala responded. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Everybody, when somebody's telling a story, everybody don't digest the story the same motherfucking way. That don't got shit to do with me, nothing. Yes, we were sitting here on my platform and we were talking about the situation. However, we were that was not the basis of the situation. Some of you motherfucking joke ass bitches was jumping up trying to say, oh, well, she did that. If I wanted to read motherfucking Larry Reed live, bitch, I would have opened up the fucking store and I'd have read Larry Reed for 30 minutes, motherfucker. I don't have to goddamn try to do no messy shit to a bitch because I don't do messy shit. If I want to bust you in your motherfucking face, bitch, I'm going to bust you in your face, bitch. I'm not going to secretly do it, bitch. I'm not going to throw the rock and hammer. I'm not going to messily do it. I get sick of you motherfuckers always trying to jump up and try to always find some shit wrong with me or try to find some shit every time T.S. Oh, every time T.S. Oh, it was the, I don't like T. I don't give a fuck because you don't like me, bitch. Suck my dick. Oh, my God. No. I don't give a fuck because you hoes don't like me. You bitches show up every every time I see it be the same motherfucking hoes. And yes, bitch, I look because, bitch, we on quarantine. I ain't got shit to do, bitch. Oh. Yeah. I ain't got shit to do, bitch. You ain't got shit to do, bitch. So, yes, I motherfucking look. You bitches always showing up. As soon as somebody, y'all hear, y'all hear, it, it's, it, as soon as it be some negative shit going on in the T.S. Madison space, you bitches be front, front line and center with the bullshit. Suck my dick! Bitch! Oh so, can I speak my piece about that? Well, if I tell you hoes that I ain't beefing with nobody, I ain't beefing with nobody. When I sat right next, when Larry Reed came on here, I pointed at Larry Reed in his motherfucking face and I said, bitch, I didn't like what you said when you was on that boy's show. I didn't like it. And bitch, you left out of here and you made them people feel like that I was cheap and stuff like that. And you made them people act like I didn't have it, bitch. But that was a fucking lie. When Jay Wilson was on his thing, I seen the post in the chat. I did go and watch it because I was like, well, then what I done did now? Miss Philadelphia, kiss my motherfucking asshole. Oh my God. You be one of the main people jumping up and jumping up and down with the bullshit. Y'all, I was looking at y'all, Nate. Y'all, just like I'm scrolling here through the chat. Move, Chi Chi. Just like I'm scrolling here through the chat. Look at, I was looking like, well, then what I did? Because I always be trying to figure out, well, what the fuck did I do? To somebody like well what i did like damn because you know bitch i'm a libra i don't be trying to have issues and problems and stuff with people because you get what i'm saying i don't i don't move i don't try to move like that bitch i move out here in this street and i know me i know if a whole walk up on me with some bullshit they is they in danger i know me i know the ts this ain't no front. This ain't no motherfucking game. Don't walk up on me with no fuck shit in the public. Bitch, I'm gonna try to... Bitch, if I can't whoop your ass, I damn sure gonna try, bitch. I'm gonna go all the way till I ain't got no knuckles on my motherfucking hands no more. No, not no knuckles. Bitch. Mm -mm. Who is this? Jacqueline, who sound press? Suck my dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. And if you ain't saying that in, my, in no bad way, I'm sorry. But if you is, bitch, suck my dick. There you go. Press that. <laughs> Can I say, um... Press motherfucking that, bitch. I ain't got nothing to do right now, bitch. Because you fucking hoes out this over here trolling in my goddamn car, I ain't got nothing to do, bitch. My Libra scales done tilted, done tilted all the way over here this way this morning. Suck my motherfucking ass and dick hole. Oh my God. Now, if you on the other side, and that one, you wasn't saying nothing that about that? All right, cool. I'm sorry. But if you still with the fuck shit, suck my motherfucking ass, Jacqueline Peters. No. <laughs> hmm. Now, like I said earlier, I ain't beefing with nobody. If you motherfucking hoes know I'm beefing with somebody, you will know. Because I'm going to tell you I'm beefing with them. That's what the fuck going to happen. Okay?
You gonna know then, cause I'ma tell you, bitch, you ain't got the motherfucking stoop around. I don't do sneaky shit, bitch. I do it right in the fucking open. The same way I told you, motherfucking hoes, when I was going through that shit with my former co-host, and I didn't do this, and I didn't do, I didn't do it. I ain't, I ain't had shit to prove to you, motherfuckers. But it's always y'all bitches be trying to run up, be trying to, be trying to be front row, front line and center, trying to, uh, uh, trying to get on, get on the attack, T. S. Madison, trying to act like I'm, I'm, I'm doing this and this to another motherfucker. I so I just want you to know to kiss my fucking ass, bitch. Oh my. Yeah, Pamela, I'm acting like Cherry because I'm in the Cherry mood this morning. Because Cherry don't give a fuck about that shit and Cherry will cut y'all fucking ass out too. And that's the way I'm feeling it. I woke up like this this morning because Googles wouldn't let me get on. Googles wouldn't let me get on the bitch. And I get sick of you fuck ass bitches with the bullshit. If you don't, if you just... My whole thing was I didn't say that you couldn't like you 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 ain't supposed to you supposed to love T S Madison or you you ain't you you dislike bitch tell why you dislike her dislike her because she a chick with a dick bitch if y'all was watching the video y'all see me sat right there because when Larry was telling me his story I was like when he was telling the world his story when he was telling the people his story when he was telling his story. People were listening. I was listening. Chi Chi was listening. Milan was listening. Craig was listening. He was telling his story. And just like it was four people that was sitting there watching, excuse me, three, me and two other people were sitting there. That's just how the world works. You'll be sitting there telling your story. Some other motherfucker may not believe it. This motherfucker may have a question. This motherfucker person over here may have some tea and be like, no, nah, I ain't with on that. Okay, cool. But bitch, don't blame the bitch who was sitting up there really trying to... What's going on? Nothing, mama. Nothing. Don't try to blame the person who was there trying to facilitate, facilitate through the conversation and try to find reasoning in it. Don't try to blame me like that was like I like I pulled this man on here to do this and the other. Don't do that. What the hell happened now? Don't do that. Don't act like don't act like that. I don't have sympathy or empathy with with people who have been molested. I understand it. That's not my story. That's not my story. I've never been molested. That's that's not my story. I've never been touched. Right. I've never. That's not my story. So therefore, I understand. When he was talking, I was I was sitting there absorbing it all. They are Chichi's a cancer. I don't know what Milan is, and 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 Craig is a Taurus. So everybody was interpreting the whole situation that way, and they was talking to him that way. If Larry ain't had no issue, because Larry could have told me T.S. Madison, click them other people off and let me talk to you. And guess what I would have did? That's what this is about. Mama, please let me finish. Oh, my God. Well, I told you, I'll be trying to explain it. Oh, my God, Mama, please let me finish. They don't like it. They're going to find everything wrong, no matter what you say. So I felt the need to tiptoe in here this morning and say how I felt about it. Everybody else motherfucking say what they fucking want they say about it. So therefore, when the man came on, I, I, my, my whole thing was, I ain't have shit. I wasn't asking that man about his whole sex life. That ain't have shit to do with me. That ain't have nothing to do with me. See, I know Larry Reed. I know Larry Reed. I don't work with Larry Reed. I know him. I don't work with him. So, and, and anything that he and I have talked about, unlike him, because I'm going to go back to his fucking ass, unlike him, what transpired over here in my house, I ain't going to leave out of here. You get what I'm saying? I ain't going to go talking about it to you strange motherfuckers that don't know nothing about what's going on. I ain't going to be over in a strange place. However, when he talked and told his story to the public, I listened. They had their own way of, of talking about it or how they interpret it. Now I'm through. What you want to say, Chi Chi? First of all, when he said what he said, I was not laughing because he's been molested because I've been molested. So I wasn't, I was just trying to understand because his story had holes in it. I was just wanting him to, you know, really explain. The other people, everybody had their own opinion about it. But when he was explaining his story that he was molested, I was not laughing. It did seem like he was laughing, though, Chi Chi. It seemed like he was I laughing. I was not laughing. It did. You, it, it seemed when you, you seen it, though, it did seem like he was probing the man. No, I was not. Not when he was molested. Now, his other shit that he said, 
Yeah, but when he was t- telling his molestation story, no, I was not. I wasn't being mean or hateful or nothing towards him anyway. So, yeah, that's all I had to say. And I, I'm okay with Larry Reed. And Larry Reed, you know, you can hit me up and we can explain it. But Larry Reed didn't address the issue right there when we was live. So, I, obviously, Larry Reed didn't feel no type of way. So, right. I don't know why you put saying so to feel some type of way anyway. Well, it's, that, it's not that they feel some type of way, Chichi. And I understood. And let me tell you, I understood what the people were saying. The people were saying out there, because there are a lot of people out there who are victims of molestation. Right. There are people out there who are victims of sexual abuse. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people out there who are like that. But see, the thing about it is motherfucking people who ain't even watched the fucking shit over there talking about T.S. Madison Massey and I, and brought him on here to do that to him. Suck my ass, bitch! Because if Larry Reed was in person with me, I would have talked to Larry Reed in person about however I felt when that situation transpired. I'd have talked to him in his face. Just like if I run into any of you motherfucking hoes behind your screen name, and you bitches say some out the way shit. I'm gonna straighten you in your face, bitch. I'm not gonna get, wait to get online. But um, yeah, but if that really had a problem, you know, he could. But like I said, I do think that y'all, I do. It did seem when I watched the video, right, okay. it did seem as though okay. that you were that y'all were not sympathetic. Craig, to where Craig at? Craig, you don't walk your ass up because I'm gonna bring you on here and tell you up. You never, if I did make you feel uncomfortable, if I did make you, you know, feel some type of way, I do apologize. But you know, when you were telling your molestation story, you know, I was molested, so I wouldn't laugh about the next person that was molested. So I do apologize if you felt some type of way. Sorry. That's it. Craig, I just sent you the link. If you up and watching, you click the link and you come on in here. Okay? Girl, I just, girl. You click the link and you come on in here. But I said I was going to address this stuff. At first, I wasn't going to say nothing about it. But it ain't fuck this dumb shit, Chi Chi. You already know it's not fuck the dumb shit. It's not. What it is, is that I understand the space that I occupy now. Mm -hmm. And I understand that people do spin narratives and they like to spin narratives. They like to do that. Just like they like to spin narratives and say, I don't like black women or I'm, I got issues with black women. And this, and they like to spin these narratives because they know that even though they don't want to give it to me, but you fuck assholes got to, they don't want to give T.S. Madison is bigger than they think. It, 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 it is what it is. They know I occupy. They know bigger eyes on me than it is. And if, and if anybody wants to go after your brand or your reputation, they spin a narrative. So that people can be out here like she's 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 she don't she's she's uh she's not sympathetic towards me. She makes fun of people who are molested, and, and that was and I didn't sit there and make fun of nobody that was molested. Me either. So I mean, I just oh. yes, we joke, we have fun, we key, and we do the Thank things. You, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Hold on, let me Joy say. No, I'm not going to censor myself, Joy. I promise you I'm not. But I do understand that I do have a responsibility to the public. This is why I came up. But this is why I address the public the way I do. Because it's like at the end of the fucking day, you know. Hold on, Ill, why every gay saying that molested shit is like the story of like black gay men's life. Except mine, it's annoying to hear sound like an excuse for justifying your gay to a black community don't like you. Okay, I understand that, Greg. But the thing was, I, you know, when we were talking about it. Oh, okay. Come on, Kendra. You better you better promote but your 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 lasso tea. Kendra, send me a pack of the lasso tea so I can stop eating these damn bagels. Send me a pack. The footage is on the last show. The last week show long raining. It's on last week's show. Hold on. What you say, Iris? Iris, kiss my mother. Yeah, bitch, kiss. Hold on. Kiss my motherfucking ass. Iris, suck my ass. Suck my big toe, bitch. My big toe. Because yeah, I ain't threatening nobody. Bitch, you big forehead, nappy, nappy, weave, a, a perm box looking ass motherfucking hoe. Get off my motherfucking page. It be bitches like you that be with the bullshit. Whole ass, bitch. 
And let me tell you something. I don't make fun of nobody, bitch. I'm reading your ass. Come on, I need to stop. I ain't threatening nobody. I told you, bitch, don't walk up on me in person. And then I tell you, motherfucking hoes, bitch, that I'll call y'all a hoes, bitch, in your face. That I ain't gonna wait behind your back. I don't give a fuck what you is. Sit your nun right ass down, bitch, cause that ain't how you spell a hypocrite. Oh, yo, all that light skin you got, bitch, and you're dumb. You're dummy. Get your oodles and noodles or hell have an ass off my motherfucking live, you dumb ass brick. Yes, I'm reading y'all hoes today, bitch, because ain't we ain't got nothing to do. That's how you feel. That's just how I feel this morning. Bitch, get your illiterate, deficient face having ass off my Facebook. My girl is pretty. My girl not getting going. She a pretty girl. My girl. You big dummy. Use a dumb bitch. Use a dummy bitch. <laughs> Take your ass down there to that welfare. Use the dummy, bitch. That's how you feel, girl. Mm-hmm. You really feel like that. Let me let that bitch come and sit up there so they can dissect the way that whole spell. Use a dummy, bitch. Use a dummy. Use a dummy, bitch. Go watch Precious, bitch. Why you do that lady like that, bro? Why you gotta do it like that? Take your ass down there to that welfare. Use the dummy bitch and quit having that white bitch come ring the buzzer. <laughs> Iris, use the dummy. How the what? Who you kid to? That's Mosey. <laughs> Mosey. I was Mosey. Use a dummy, bitch. Bitch, I sit here and let them people tear your ass up all day. Dummy, 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 dummy. Use a dummy in the morning, bitch. Dummy in the morning. Somebody give me the definition to hypocrite like that. Before you get all them motherfucking type of tear her ass up. We gonna sit here on this bitch for about five minutes, bitch, with them goddamn oodles and noodles curls in her motherfucking head. And now run your ass over there to the next bitch live and talk shit about me, bitch, but suck my ass on the way out. You motherfucker, you. Oh my God, that's how you feel? Y'all don't like this, Maddie. This the Maddie that y'all tuned into, bitch. This the Maddie that got famous on the internet cussing you bitch ass hoes out. And then I turn my brand around and stop terrorizing you hoes. But bitch, you hoes like to try me and think that I done forgot how to do it. Bitch, just because I don't live in that neighborhood no more don't mean I don't know how to get there, bitch. Find you a dick to suck, bitch. <laughs> get the fuck off my page. Oh, my God. It be you secret lurking. And see, and see I love to call you motherfucking hoes out. And I love to call you bitches out because it be you secret bitches that be on a bitch page. You be you secret hoes. And anytime you see a secret bitch jump up in the public, you eat they ass up, bitch. You what, Margo? Eat them up. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all bitches still mad at me over the breakup of the Queen Supreme Court, bitch. Let it go. Let the shit go, bitch. <laughs> let it go. And if you team whoever the fuck you is, stay on that team and get off my motherfucking page. Thirsty ass bitch. Now you thirsty. Drink water, bitch. Cause we bitch, you getting a whole motherfucker aquafina full. Let me log into my Facebook. Y'all, hold on, y'all. Y'all let that party for a second, child. Let me log in here and eat tear this whole up. Let me look this whole iris. Bitch, you need to be over there trying to get some toilet tissue in your house, girl. You over here can't spell. That's why, bitch. That's what you the reason why ain't no toilet tissue in the store. Mosey. Don't do Iris, girl. Bitch, please. <laughs> Let me find this bitch. I don't even be following these hoes. These hoes be always... There this bitch go. Add a friend. Let me block this whole bitch. Anytime you need a friend, I will be here. Don't you ever be lonely. Block, bitch. B-L-O-C-K-T-E-D. Block it. Boom. No. Block. Bye, Iris. Bye, Iris. Now report that bitch. <laughs> Iris gone. 
Yeah, we go. Let me let Iris go. You, wait, hey, hold on. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Stephanie. She ain't gonna steal it. <laughs> ah. Oh my God. Here we go. All right, now I needed to open up the show with that because that's the way I had felt. And you get what I'm saying? Larry, listen. If you're watching the show, I need you to know that you know you came on here and the, and the, the basis of our show was just to talk about stuff going on. I'm sorry that you fell over into that. And I'm sorry that you that, you know you had that your that you that you 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 know that your story by the rest of the people in the room. I'm sorry that your story might have been there go Craig. Come all right, here we go, y'all. Let me add Craig. Craig had to put on his concealer. <laughs> Craig. Ah, you are dusty. <laughs> Craig had to put his concealer on. <laughs> now, Craig, you in the room. Let me go ahead on the screen. You at. No. Hey, you Craig, gotta Craig, me out about anything. Craig, listen. Now, when I did go back and watch the video and the people was critiquing the video, you did it did seem like there was a lot of it did look like that. When the man was telling his story, it did look that way. It did. And a lot of people were boycotting that cookbook that you got over there. And I was like, let me get in here and help me get my sister together because the cookbook is in danger. <laughs> and I don't need the people. See, I don't give a fuck what them hoes say about do we be with that bullshit with me. What well, listen, I'm going to say this. I, too, am like you in that I don't care what people say. But I am, cl I am clear about wanting to clarify because I don't want something that I didn't intend to be out there to be out there. Well, it looked like that, Craig. That's what it looked like. Oh, I, I get that. So I'm okay with clarifying it. Well, but, come on, clarify. We got the people's watching. We got almost 4,000 people watching. Clarify right. that shit. Fix, so fix. I'm okay with clarifying. But when you think about what I was actually saying in the video, I never mentioned anything about his molestation. I wouldn't question somebody's, I wouldn't question the veracity of somebody's statement. Hold about on, wait a minute. We had a dumb bitch on here early. Can you break the word veracity down? Iris Mosey, dumbass, was on here. Can you break? Because I know that bitch don't understand what the word veracity means because a bitch can't spell uppercut. The, the truth. I wouldn't challenge the truth of what he was saying okay. about that. So while I understand that my body language when I was doing this, I was talking about, I was referencing when he said he hadn't been with a man since he was uh, 17 and the part about not having sex in three years right that's the right. that's the only that's the only discrepancies that i found i had no issue with you know him talking about being molested i didn't challenge why quote unquote he allowed quote unquote the molestation to continue until he was 13. i was never questioning any of that because i understand that when people are molested or there's some sort of a trauma that happens like that everybody handles things differently and as a person that's never been molested that's never been raped I can't speak on how he should have handled that and why at 13, you know, he didn't feel uh, compelled to tell an adult or something like that, why he continued to participate in it. I would have questioned any of that. The only things that I was talking about and turning around about was yeah. when he said he had not been with a man since he was 17 and he had not had sex in three years. Those are the only things. And, and I'm not going to go into just to prove a point to those who were looking for something to, uh, critique me on i'm not going to go into why i feel the way i feel about those things <laughs> but and that you still doing all this turning around but i get it because you know what i'm saying but but here's what i'll say too um just because i did see see some of the comments and some of the people went on my youtube and you know commented and stuff i had every intention of reaching out to larry that night which i did um because I wanted to make it clear to him, not these people who were trying to question whether or not I was being insincere. I didn't give a damn about that. Mm -hmm. I did want him though, to understand that I wasn't questioning, you know, what he was saying about being molested and that kind of thing. Because again, I would never do that. But I wanted him to be clear that I was only questioning his statements about not having sex in three years and not having been with a man since he was 17. And he was clear. He understood exactly what he said. Oh, no, we're good. And not only did he say we're good, he purchased words never spoken that night through CraigTheWriterStewart.com. Oh, girl, you got to let somebody know somebody bought that damn cookbook, girl. 
Uh, uh, Sarah McCollum, I'm not saying he can't be celibate, baby. I'm not saying he can't. I'm just telling you, I know otherwise. That's and all I'm and saying. I was just asking for what Craig, how Craig was reacting, because me and Craig was having communication. So I didn't, right. I wasn't trying to say um, Larry like that. Right. Like that. No. And somebody else said the same thing in, in one of my comments. Well, you said you were celibate. Like, why can he be celibate? Because I'm, I'm not saying that someone else can't be celibate. But I'm telling you that. Craig, oh, what? Okay. don't do that now. There you go with it. And that's all I'm going to say. <sighs> So what are we discussing this morning, guys? Well, we, I, just need to, I just need to clear that up. I told y'all. Right, right. Hey, guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao.